Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of November, uh, November. <laughs> for the month of February, or from the time that you uh, view this video. And who knows, perhaps maybe some of these events started back in November. Anyway, um, this is for those of you who, um, the, it's, it's the person that you think of in a romantic sense, okay? How that person is feeling, what they're thinking, what they're, they are showing you, um, what they could be planning. So um, let's begin this reading. This person could be feeling uh, stuck, okay, because we have the card of affliction here. And this is somebody who's not learning uh, a karmic lesson. And uh, this card says that until they do, um, they must remain here. Next, we have the master. And so I feel as though this person is trying to come up with a solution to a problem. They may feel somewhat pressured as if time is running out. Um, this is a card of guilt, actually. Um, but I feel as though, um, I feel as though there's been a betrayal. And this, um, you can see this person with this spear sneaking up on the horse and I kind of feel like they may feel as though something has been sneaking up on them or you know um, to stab them in the back kind of thing it is a card of betrayal dreaming Johnny um, this is somebody walking along with their head up in the clouds they may not be suspecting this sneak attack going on here and they're about to take a fall so um, what happens here, and you could have um, you could have been living together. This would have been a committed couple, married. Um, it could have been, and I have to mention it because it's here. The devil and the three of coins can represent that there was a third party that caused uh, the um, imbalance here. But it could also be that they may feel you are very controlling. They may fear that you might have some bad habits. They may fear um, that you could possibly, um, maybe you, you try to, um, how would I say that? Um, They may feel that you uh, try to kind of dominate them. They may feel that you that there's there's no uh, possible way um, to cooperate with you, or you know, for you to cooperate. They might be again. You see, I had that feeling of them feeling pressured with this card over here of the master. And with temperance being in reverse, there could be some impatience here with regards to this person, um, even uh, some frustration uh, with regards to this. What they're really thinking is they, they could be thinking that this is over, that with the Queen of Wands in reverse, that no action, there's no action, there's no co cooperation being taken towards um, bringing any kind of uh, success to this relationship. Um, it could be that there's a kind of, uh, because this is a card in this deck speaks to stalemates, um, so there could be, um, this person may feel, um, 
defensive because these rods are all in front of them. These could be, could very well be lessons that they've learned and that they may be applying. The fact that they're in front of them makes me, uh, and they're very uh, watchful as if they're under guard here. So they may be relying on these past lessons to try to help them uh, work their way through this energy. How they really feel, we have the card of the eagle here. Um, this is a card, again, that speaks to um, somebody who is very arrogant, so they may find you arrogant. I'm not saying that you are, but that's how they're feeling. Um, very controlling, somebody who's always got to be right, and so they may feel that there's just no talking to you, that you will never admit to being wrong. That's how they're feeling. They may feel that you have deceived them or led them astray. Um, some sort of secret, I feel, has come out because the moon is in the reverse, so whatever was hidden has come to light. And now, with regards to, to that, this person may be thinking of uh, walking away. So, um, over here, we have the hermit, and he has the taken the star out, okay? Now, this is with regards to whatever was revealed here, okay? And because she is the keeper of secrets. So some sort of secret came out. And now this person feels that this direction, uh, this direction, this relationship has no direction. They're studying that star. They took it out of the lamp and they're trying to decide, you know, um, where is this relationship going at this point? And they're standing uh, here in, uh, in this very cold place. They're not buying into whatever story you've been trying to sell them. Um, with the two of wands in the reverse, they, uh, they may feel as though there's just no uh, future left here. And the Page of Swords is a card in this deck. Um, they haven't told you yet, but they are preparing to do so. Okay, this is somebody getting ready to give somebody news that they know is not going to be well received or that, you know, is going to cause um, uh, an argument possibly, a confrontation possibly. So what is influencing this or their behavior? Here we have the couple with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. And um, she's, you see, very guarded, got the sword right over the heart, okay? Now, they come with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And so um, this relationship took a turn for the worse with regards to either somebody's controlling dominant behavior or because there was a third party. So, um, with regards to this relationship, um, this person is, again, we have this Two of Wands energy. Um, I feel about to make a decision on a plan or an idea to move forward. Um, because now, with the Eight of Swords in reverse, they see things really for what they are. Their eyes are like wide open.
so that's how this finishes. Um, I don't feel that you would have that decision yet um, because of this page. So um, that is what I have for you. Um, again, um, you see, karmic wheel, they're stuck here. I just want to point that out. That's how they're feeling. That they can't get out of this cycle. Um, stuck. This person's hurting. So I thank you for watching and many blessings to you. Bye for now.